friends, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Nikki. I am here for you almost daily. So if you're new around here, I upload about four to five times a week on this channel. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you're notified of all of my new uploads. I always say almost daily because it's four to five times a week on this channel. And today we are talking about ThreadUp. So if you are new around here, I've been selling on ThreadUp for two years and my oh my, it's been an interesting two years, specifically 2020, but I'm not gonna get into all the drama. If you wanna know about all the ThreadUp seller changes, I'll leave a link to the playlist of the videos I've done on it down below. But I thought it would be fun to do just a nice educational video on ThreadUp and go through, I don't know what I'm gonna title this, but basically the most expensive items that I've sent to ThreadUp because this is kind of like a bolo video. Like these are brands and items that you might wanna be on the lookout for because if you see them in the wild, they price insanely well, my friends. We're gonna go over one item that is currently priced on ThreadUp for almost $1,000 and I paid $1 for it. That is right, my friends, $1. So some of these items have sold, some of them haven't sold yet, but I just thought it's kind of like a brand to be on the lookout for slash what sold slash if you see these things, pick them up because they do very well on ThreadUp. I did tell you guys, I'm still selling on ThreadUp, not the same scale that I was earlier in 2020. I was sending about five to 10 boxes a week. I'm currently sending about five to 10 boxes a month. Um, a lot of you ask how I still send boxes. I don't know why, but I can still print labels. Um, I only get to print two expedited um, processing a month. I think that's across the board for all of us, but yeah, I can still print labels, thank God. I'm glad I can still sell there because I still do make money there. Um, and if these items sell, some of them have sold. I've made great money there, but if one of the, if the thousand dollar item sells that I paid a dollar for you guys, I will let you know immediately. I'll probably do a whole video on it. So let me, I'll put photos of everything here. I'll tell you what's sold, what hasn't sold. Let's start with the lowest. I put air quotes because none of these are really low priced, but let's start with some of the lower items that have sold. First, oh my God, I don't know if you can hear my Shih Tzu. Let me escort him out actually. He has heart disease. So when he lays on his chest, um, it pushes on his lungs and he hacks up like that. I don't know if you heard that, but. Hold on, let me clear this. Let me clear my office. All right, this is an item that I got on Dollar Day that I'm pretty sure I showed you guys in a haul a while ago. I can't remember when. I'll have to look at my inventory list, but this is a theory. It's a wool. It was 100% merino wool um, sweater with a deep V, and it had the little tassels that you could tie. This sold for $175.99, you guys, and I paid a dollar for this. A dollar. How awesome is that? I think the profit to me don't quote me it was like 115 or 113 dollars so minus the dollar investment let's just say to be safe i made 112 dollars in profit i love sales like this i tried to sell this myself i think i've had this for a while because i tried to sell this myself for months and it was not selling and i don't I cannot sell theory for as much as ThreadUp can. So I recommend if you have theory pieces that are just sitting for you and you feel like you're not netting a lot of profit, try and send it to ThreadUp because theory does really well for me on ThreadUp. Here's another one that's lower price. <laughs> I'm doing air quotes because when you see the thousand dollar item, you'll see why I'm saying this is lower price. This was a gap coat. It was a size small. I found this at the bins. This coat was in amazing condition to be at the bins. You guys know if you shop at the bins, sometimes larger items, they get dusty, they can get dirty. This thing had no stains, so I paid a dollar and 52 cents for this, and this sold for 189.99, you guys. And this was new with tags. I couldn't believe how many people at the bins were passing this over. It's beautiful, bright pink color. I almost kept it, but it was a little too snug for me. I love wearing bright colored coats, even in the winter time, because I have, <laughs> This is a little like TMI. I'll quickly tell you, I have SAD, which is seasonal effectiveness disorder. So I try to like brighten my mood with wearing bright colors, especially in the winter, because it just makes me feel a little better. I have to use a light, a light box. Like I get pretty down in the winter, especially the early months. It's just, I need light. I'm, I'm a light baby, I need light. So anyways, tangent to say, I really wish I could have kept this coat, but this was an awesome sale. 
Here's one more that's sold. I had never heard of this brand until I found it on Dollar Day. The reason I wanted to do this video is because I wanted to show you that there is, there's, well, I don't know if everyone has a dollar day, but there is a lot of money to be made if you can find inventory at a very affordable cost and then send it to ThreadUp and it sells at a higher price. I mean, there's just, if you can get things for, I mean, even some of these items that I'm making $100, $200, maybe hundreds of dollars profit on, I would be fine paying up. I would be fine paying 20, 30 bucks for these items. But this was an Atelier's, Atelier, I know I'm butchering that. And you would never know that when I was a child, I went to a French private school and I spoke fluent French, but if you don't use it, you lose it. And I stopped going to that school when I was seven and I completely lost all my French. Atelier's, A-T-E-L-I-E-R-S. Blazer, this was a size 12. I picked this up on Dollar Day and this sold for $199.99, friends. A workwear jacket. And this sold pretty recently. I'm not moving a lot of workwear, but someone must have been specifically looking for this brand because workwear is just sitting for me. I told you guys I'm currently not picking it up right now. People are just at home. They're wearing leisure wear. I mean, look at me. I, I look cute on top, up top. Well, I think I do. And I literally have on like some dingy, dirty, gray maternity leggings. So that's just, you know, people just aren't really going anywhere. So I was shocked when this sold, but I was elated. All right, so let's move on to some of the items that haven't sold, but fingers crossed, I'm hoping they do. This was a Ben's Fine. This is a St. John sweater. This feels so soft. It doesn't have a fabric um, tag, so I don't know what it is, but it feels like some type of silk blend oh it feels so soft really pretty pattern i've had this for a long time i've had this for a year and a half i've tried to sell it myself it gets likes it gets watchers nobody buys it um this has a bunch of favorites on thread up right now we will see how it does it's currently priced at 250.99 and i picked this up at the bins did i tell you that already and I, so i think on this day my bins cost was a little high high when i tell you it was a dollar and 75 cents that's high for me at the bins. Um, but yeah, I think the most per item I've ever paid at the bins was like $2.30, but it was because I bought a lot of heavy items. I bought like a ski outfit, lots of sweaters, coats, but that's one I miss the bins, you guys, so bad. I have not been in months because I went in quarantine before pregnancy. We're in quarantine after pregnancy for two months. I miss the bins. I can't wait to go back there. I'm probably gonna start going back in January, but yeah, I will keep you posted when this sells because that would be a great profit. Here's another item that I've had for a very long time. This was another bins find. This dress actually has a lot of damage. This is Tadashi Soji. Am I saying that right? I think so. It's not Sojai, isn't it Soji? Tadashi Shoji. Definitely brand to be on the lookout for. Lots of formal, uh, really beautiful dresses that you can wear to weddings, formal events. Um, I was gonna say balls, but yeah, balls. That, <laughs> that sounds funny the way I say it. I'm so immature. This has a ton of favorites already, which is shocking to me, because like I said, a lot of people aren't really going anywhere that I know of, but hey, maybe people are going somewhere where they need to wear this dress. Um, and this is currently priced at $189.99. Again, I found this at the bins. I think a lot of people pass this up because it is damaged. You see the little beige lines going down it? It has black thread in it, and a lot of the thread is coming off of that. I hope that they listed that on ThreadUp because if someone buys that and they can't see it because their, their photos don't show you like damage or anything, I would return it. So I need to see if they listed that. Um, you can like request and tell them, Hey, can you list that it has this issue? And I've had them change like one or two items, but not very often, but Tadashi Soji, definitely be on the lookout for that brand. I will let you guys know if this sells. I'm curious to see if it sells on ThreadUp and it stays sold because like I said, it has damage and I don't think that they're listing the damage or showing it in the photos. So I'll let you know, cause I've had this dress for so long and I want it to sell. It's just beautiful. If it doesn't sell, I might reclaim it and just keep it because it's size six and I'm a size four six. That might just be the gods telling me to keep this it. This is the piece de resistance, friends. This Agnona, it's A-G-N-O-N-A. -N -N -A. Had never heard of the brand before. Cashmere, it's a 100% cashmere sweater. It is currently priced at ThreadUp for $849.99.
I paid one dollar for this, friends. One dollar. Eight hundred forty-nine dollars and ninety-nine cents. Just to, I just saw the sweater. This is why I tell you guys I do not wear gloves at the Goodwill, at the store, at the bins because if I feel something, I know I'm like, oh, this feels like a good brand. I was just skimming through the sweaters on Dollar Day and I was like, oh, this feels like not a good brand, a good. Um, uh, what am I trying to say? My God, pregnancy brain is still with me. Good material. And I looked at it and I was like, oh, cashmere. Had never heard of the brand. I remember, I didn't even look this up. Usually I will take time and look up comps, but on dollar day, I try to move really quickly. You guys, this could be one of my highest profit sales ever if this sells on ThreadUp. I have other items that are priced higher. For example, I've sent some Gucci purses, some Versace purses that are currently priced at like close to two, three thousand dollars but I paid up a lot for those, a lot. This item I paid a dollar for. Definitely a bolo, be on the lookout for that brand, and especially anything, I always say be on the lookout for anything cashmere. You, you wonder if you guys actually gave me the idea to buy damaged cashmere, because I find it all the time at the bins. It'll have like a hole in it, it'll have like a lot of pilling. You just lot them together and sell it as a bundle on eBay or Poshmark. People love it, I just sold a bundle of two damaged, like really like had holes in it and everything, cashmere sweaters for 25 bucks. You guys, I bought them at the bins for like less than $2 each. So I'm definitely gonna start doing that more often. I have passed up so much damaged cashmere. You would think I would have known this after 10 years of reselling. Um, there's a market for almost everything out there. Okay, friends? So hopefully you enjoyed this. Let me know if you want me to do more of these. Like I can show you some of the um, high-end purses that I've sold or some of the ones that I'm hoping will sell. Yeah. If you like this kind of, it's basically like a what sold bolo video for ThreadUp. We can do it for eBay too. I've done a couple of videos uh, on this, um, like about eBay. But you can check out my other ThreadUp videos right here.